Who? What's up, people? This is Mr. Brandon here, and you are watching a Kong basic video. And in this video, we're going to be going over the pad group section. And after this video, that will mean we have finished all of the pad settings. So if you haven't seen the other videos for each of these sections, head to my channel. There's a playlist with all of the Kong videos in it, and you can watch them all there. But let's go ahead and get started with pad group. Starting off with mute. If you watched last week's video, we went over the drum assignment and how the hi-hats connect. As you can see here, they're all loaded in, in a nano. And I also mentioned that they map together th using polyphony so that they cut each other off when they're played. Well, if you have two synthesized drums, that's not the same case unless you sample them and load them into an in a nano where we have two, two sounds like these, a synthesized snare drum and a synthesized drum. Well, if we wanted those to cut each other off, even though that's not realistic using a snare and a tom, just for demonstration purposes though, the way we're gonna do this is using the mute group. Now for, we have nine groups total, three for each mute, link, and alternate. And when we wanna link groups together, you can either click on a pad, make it a group, click on the other pad and make it a group, or go into this quick edit and then select multiple pads in that way. So I'm gonna add both of those to their own group and let's play this pad, which is the tom. That's it fully playing out, and this is the snare. By playing the tom and then the snare right after it, you can cut it off or, as the pad group is called, mute it. That's how that works. That's how you can link synthesized drums. Or you can, And you can still do this with the in and nanos if you have the samples, but it's the same thing here. So moving on, next we have link in the pad group. Now link, just like it says, links two pads together. So for example, go ahead and get out of quick edit. Let's say we wanted our bass drum and our snare to always play together. And we want this snare to be kind of a ghost snare, so we'll turn it down. So now in order to link it together, let's go ahead and go into our quick edit mode and add them both to group D. So now when we play that, when we play either one, they both play at the same time. Now say we wanted to use two different bass drums in a song, but we wanted them to both use the snare. We would add them to a new group. So let's give the snare also group E, and then link the second bass drum to group E. So now when we play... So now as we go through those, they both play the snare, no matter which one we play. So just gonna go ahead and unlink that. And next we have the alt or alternate. Now for this, say we wanted to alternate between which bass drum is gonna be played. So you heard them before, we have this bass drum and this bass drum. So if we wanna create an alternate group, just give them the same group. And now when we play either of those bass drums, they will alternate between which one is played. Then as we start adding other stuff into this group, it starts getting a little bit more randomized. So if you saw what was happening right there is the bass drum is still playing because that's the key that I was hitting, but it was alternating between these three pads. So it's kind of like link or it's linking these pads together, but it alternates between which one is played. So you can get that nice randomized, not so robotic synth. Obviously you'd probably be using different samples that made a little bit more sense than what I was using, but like I said, it's this is just a demonstration. And that's all there is to the pad group. Simple as that, making your drums sound more realistic or allowing you to get creative with the way you set up your drums. It's just, it's really cool. Uh, let's go back over what each one does. Mute, when you have two pads in a group, playing one mutes the other one if it was still playing. Link, links two pads together, so when you play one, the other one plays. Alternate, creates alternate hits between different pads that you have in an alternate group. And that concludes pad groups. And this video concludes pad settings. So if you have any questions, post a comment below. Also, if you have any suggestions or things you want to know about in future videos, go ahead and let me know about those also in the comments. And I will do my best to get those videos rolling out. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you later.